My name is Britt Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be starting my Medieval Athon vlog. If you guys don't know what Medieval Athon is, it is a month long vlog that is hosted by Holly from Holly Hearts Books. So go over and check out her channel and her announcement video. She also has a separate video announcing the reading prompts, and then she also has a video announcing her TBR. So go check out all those videos. So Medieval Athon has already started. It starts. May 1st through the end of May is a month long readathon and instead of me posting a whole separate TBR I just want to go ahead and tell you guys what I kind of have on my book cart for what I really am interested in right now so one thing I am going to try to get as many audiobooks as possible I do want to try to read maybe five to seven books during this month i think with the help of audiobooks i can achieve that there's different rankings and i'll have everything posted up here for you guys but there's different rankings for how many books that you actually read zero is like peasant one is like farmer or something like that again i will have that posted for you guys for y'all to see but anyways, I want to tell you guys the prompts that I kind of have planned to take part in. So I am reading currently Crescent City by Sarah J. Mass. I'm about 300 pages or a little over 300 pages into that. Then I'm also reading an Adrian novel, Obsession, He's to Die For. This is by Jennifer L. Armitra. I am currently reading this. And I'm about 50 pages into this so far. But let's go over the prompts that I kind of want to try to get into. Like I said, these prompts can kind of change up depending on my moods. But first prompt is a book with your favorite color on the spine. So my favorite color is like blue or silver. It kind of goes back and forth between those two. So I do have Kingdom of Exiles by Maxim M. Mantanu. I have no clue. This is a debut novel, I think. It does have a little bit of blue right there. And this is more like a black down here. But it does have a little bit of blue. So I don't know if I'm going to really count that. I'm also going to probably be buddy reading this with a friend of mine. So it could count towards that if it doesn't really count towards blue. If I can get more blue on the spine, I really want to. So the next prompt is a shiny book. So I currently have two that I really want to get to because I do have the audiobooks. It, I have Clockwork Prince by Cassandra Clare. And I also have Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare. This is second and third book in the Infernal Devices trilogy. And I, I would count these as shiny books, you can see. The next prompt I probably will be trying to read is a dragon on the cover. I do have Robin's Hob Dragon Keeper. I've been meaning to get the, to this for a while. Or this could be a shiny book because the lettering is reflective. But again, another book that I really am interested in getting to. And honestly, I don't know anything about this. And I like going into books like that. Next is a romance. So I think... I think I have a few romances on here. I think Dangerous Alliance by Jenny Cohen is a romance. I, I think it's historical romance. Then I also have The Kiss Quotient by Helen Hong is supposedly a romance. I think also Kingdom of Exiles is supposed to be fantasy romance. So there's again three options for that. And the next prompt is start or finish a duology. So uh, wild card could be that because this is a duology. I also have Carve the Mark by Veronica Roth. So the next prompt is a buddy. So I'm actually planning on buddy reading three books in the month of May. I haven't buddy read that much in a long time, but I really am enjoying it because I've been doing it a lot. I have three different friends who want to buddy read a book this month. So the first one is my friend Jill wants to buddy read Emerald Queen by Laura Sebastian. This is third book in Ash Princess. And I actually have already started this, but I'm going to start over again because I really don't remember anything that happened. Started this back in January when I wasn't having a good reading month or just wanting to read in general with a lot going on with reading at my house so i am really looking forward into doing this then my friend alberto sent me ruthless gods by emily duncan he just recently read wicked saints and absolutely loved it as much as i did and ruthless gods just came out more recently so we are planning on buddy reading this then my friend lauren who lives in orlando it wants to read Kingdom of Exiles with me. So the next and last prompt that I know I want to try to get to in the month of May is Orange on the Dust Jacket. And that is Ash Lord. This is by Scar 
Renton. I got this for Book of the Month a few months ago and haven't picked it up yet, but really excited to get to this. I think this is like people with a certain power that can bring these like ash horses up and like they only have these horses at certain times of day and or certain times I don't know if it's night or day but they're doing this big race and that's all I really know about this and I'm sure really excited to get to this I really haven't heard anything good or bad or anything at all about Ash Lords so I am extremely excited to get into this to see how much I like it or if I don't. So guys, that's all the books that I know I really want to get to in the month of May. So counting the two books that I'm already current, currently reading, that's 12 books. I don't think I'll get to all of these. I know I won't because I'm just going with the flow and what I want to read. I know I will probably at least get to three and finish the two that I am currently reading. But anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed and let's get back to the rest of the vlog. <laughs> which is the first day of medieval thon and as you can probably tell with like the lighting in the background that it is later in the day I also put a timestamp down here but yeah I haven't really done much today I have been listening to Kingdom of Exiles on audiobook for most of the day I went and got a couple of groceries and hung out in my hammock for a little bit and just letting it kind of air out because I haven't really aired out a lot of like my camping or hiking stuff in a long time. If you hear nails on the floor, that is my dog Dakota. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, hey, sit. So in Kingdom of Exiles, there is this beast charmer named Lena, and I really am enjoying her character very much because she is very brave and a lot of just probably stupid things that a lot of people shouldn't be doing. But she's also very soft and vulnerable, and I really like that characteristic of showing a female from both sides. Because in most YA, the female has to be like shy and soft, and she kind of finds her voice in the end, or she becomes brave, or she's brave and kind of switch to learn how to be soft. So I like the fact that she is both and we're showing a lot of vulnerability out of her from her past and what has happened to her. Knox is a great, great male protagonist. I love his, he wants to love people so much that there's a reason why he can't love people so you do find that out about in this book that's a little bit of a spoiler i i'm sorry but he he wants to be loved but he's an assassin and he has a gang of assassins that get a hold of her somehow so i don't want to give that away because that's a big part of this book and they're kind of traveling together because someone wants her dead and that's all in the synopsis on the back of it but this is a romance fantasy or it's very like intrigue romance fantasy you don't really know if it's going to happen or not because of some things that's happened in Knox's backstory so yeah, I'm really immensely enjoying Kingdom of Exiles. I think this is the debut novel and I want the second one like right now, but I know it's not coming out for a little while, but hopefully I will probably finish this. The audiobook's really not that long and I'm listening it on 1.8 speed. So yeah, this, this has been a fun ride so far. Good morning guys. Excuse my hair this morning, but I am getting ready to make some breakfast and then I think me and Dakota are gonna go over to my mom's house and help her with a little bit of yard work and yeah I think that's all we're gonna do I would let you guys know where I got into Kingdom of Exiles I think I got like 65% of the way last night before I was like you know what I'm done for this for the day so anywho let me show you guys what I just got in the mail so I just got all the stars and teeth by Adeline Grace I did Lice all the box down and everything, so everything's fine. But I did get all the stars and teeth by Adeline Grace. This is supposed to be like a mermaid pirate retelling. 
I think, or like book or whatever. But yeah, I'm super excited to get to that. And actually, I might be picking this up next because one of the prompts that I'm doing is blue or like your favorite cover, um, favorite color on the spine. And this has blue on the spine. So I'm so excited to probably get to this soon. I just finished Kingdom of Exiles and let me tell you I love this book um, I'm probably gonna give it like a 4 to a 4.5 star it was really good I love the romance in it and the angst and the friendship and family built and I think I told you guys earlier that I really like the fact that the female protagonist is hard and soft like she has feminine things about her that she worries about and but also she is a badass and she can do you know all these different things but then at the end of the day but at the end of the day she is you know a female and you know being soft and vulnerable but also being you know I guess masculine if you want to turn for it also when it's needed but yeah I held my mom pressure washed her house today and I think I have a couple of clips in there for you guys but yeah that's all I've really done and I listened to the audiobook of this and I finished this off and oh my gosh like I want the next one but the next one doesn't come out yet I think this is a debut novel and I highly suggest everybody going and picking this up but anyways I am buddy reading this with Macy from the bright side girl I will link her channel down in the description if I can remember but I've already calculated out like around 50 to 60 pages a day starting tomorrow so I will be picking this up tomorrow and it's also blue on the spine because my favorite color is blue so it will go with one of my prompts so it will either go with that or buddy read but this was also a buddy read so I don't know but I'm just glad that I Second day in, I got one book done, and I will be starting on another one. Crescent City is sitting on my dresser over there. I think I want to start that when I start it, but continue on reading that tonight. But we'll just have to see how I feel. I am actually really tired. It's about 8 o'clock, and I kind of just want to watch a little YouTube or Netflix or something, lay with my dog, and go to sleep early. <laughs> Okay guys, if you hear the air in the background, I am so sorry this is my first real check-in for today, but I did start buddy reading All the Stars and Teeth today with Macy from the Bright Side Girl, and I did read up to the first little chapters that we have decided to read, so one through five, and so far I am really liking this. This is very detailed in only a short little amount of time. There's a lot going on really quickly, a lot of magic system that I am immensely enjoying the magic system and the people with like magic in their blood or in their heart and it's just it's been really good so, I, so far so I really am liking this. So we're taking eight sections per day I think it's Sunday through Friday I think is how we're going to read this so this will be continuing on for the rest of the week but I did start the Kish Quotient by Helen Hong today and I've only gotten to like chapter the end of chapter two so again another book that is really quick fast paced there's this girl she has a mental disorder like a physical disorder and she doesn't like touching other people and her parents are really wanting grandchildren her to be happy and married and have children even though I think you don't have to be married and have children to be considered happy I you know I understand where the girl is coming from or actually she's like 30 so I understand where the girl is coming from because I am 29 almost to be 30 and I'm not married and I don't have children and I feel 
and understand that pressure that she gets from her family and friends because of that. So I really connected with the character on that aspect, but she, she doesn't really understand sex well, so she decides to hire a male escort to teach her how to have sex the correct way because she's really only had a few partners and every time she's ever had sex, they haven't been like walked away saying, oh, sh they liked it or she enjoyed it. She's always said she doesn't like it at all. She doesn't like the aspect of touching other people and she's wanting to hire this guy to teach her how to like sex or how to like the feeling of it so she can eventually find someone. I have a feeling they're going to eventually fall in love. But this has been really cute and it's only in chapter two so far and I really like the writing style of Helen Honk. I'm not a big like romance contemporary reader but in the last like few months, especially into 2019, I found myself gravitating more towards romance contemporary reads so i'm hoping this this doesn't disappoint so other than that i haven't really had a lot of things going on i got up me and dakota walked this morning like we do every morning she will probably get her evening walk after her nap here in a little while because it is getting a little bit later in the day and oh yeah my bookshelf fell today so let's go in my library and let me show you guys how i reorganize my library because my bookshelf fell okay guys going down my hallway you go into my open library if you guys have seen my house tour video which i will try to remember to link those in the cards you will remember this room but anyways guys this is my library well i had three of these shelves and they're just walmart shelves i do want to like maybe build in some shelves in here one day because like this trailer is not going to be my permanent resident forever but I would like to have something nicer, but but during my move, the bottom part of this shelf was damaged, and honestly, I was sandwiching it up between that one and this one, and I was in my living room this morning, and heard, I heard a big crash in here, and I wasn't really worried about these books. I mean, yes, these are some of my, like, I love these books so much, but I was worried, really worried about these floors, because these floors are, would be very hard to fix if anything happened. Thankfully, nothing happened to my floors because I did remodel this place and there's a little Dakota. But I was really worried about my floor, about messing it up. But thankfully, everything's fine. But now I have moved my pothos plant over here, my aloe. This is a picture that I took. And yeah, so I have a little more room to put some plants up for the time being. So honestly, I'm thinking about keeping this shelf and maybe painting the top of it because this part of it is actually very solid. I'm, I'm very surprised. It was just the bottom part that got d damaged. So I'm thinking about keeping this shelf and getting another one of the five bookcases or five shelves bookcase from Walmart um, maybe soon and then putting it here or s sliding this over or something. I don't really know. This room is very small and I have a lot of plants that love this room so much and that's my TBR. My TBR cart is going to actually go into my living room here in a few minutes. But yeah, this is what it looks like now. Um, this is not like how I like it to look. But, you know, it's not bad. All my books are fine. And my shelves look a little bit for, fuller than they usually do. Because there's more books from those two shelves down there that are all crammed between. But... I can work with it. It's fine. It can be replaced. No big deal. I know it's like a first world problem, but you know, I'm lucky enough to have the money to replace these kinds of things. But yeah, so everything looks good so far. But anyways, guys, I think that's where I'm going to end this vlog. I know this vlog is getting kind of long and Dakota's going to want her walk here in a little while. I think I'm going to pick up the kiss question here in a little bit and maybe go get in my hammock for a little while. That's outside. But I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I hope everybody's having a great medieval fun or just regular reading for the May. And I look forward to seeing everybody soon in my next video. Bye!